Satire serves the establishment. I used to think that political satire was good for democracy. A powerful tool that undermined the establishment to humble the high and mighty who rule over us. Now I'm convinced the opposite is true. Satire serves the powerful and helps maintain the status quo. Satirical shows like Have I Got News For You normalise politicians with extreme views. Nigel Farage and Jacob Rees-Mogg seem to be up for a laugh at their own expense. Their toxic views on immigration or abortion become sugar-coated with audience laughter. Imagine a modern British history in which Boris Johnson never became a lovable celebrity via a satirical panel show. He would never have wielded crucial influence on a knife-edge vote on Britain's membership of the European Union. I know from years of working on Spitting Image that many politicians are desperate to be satirised. They know it raises their profile and their popularity. Donald Trump was mocked when he announced he was running for president. No one took him seriously until it was too late. For millions of voters, where there ought to be outrage, comedy substitutes it with ironic acceptance. Laughter is the release valve that diffuses the tension. It converts anger into euphoria, a feeling of resentment into a sense of mocking superiority. George Orwell said that every joke is a tiny revolution, but the cumulative effect is that one big revolution is endlessly postponed. Would-be satirists like me will keep on poking fun at them, but isn't it the politicians who are actually getting the last laugh?